Heads up, JC Information Nation. I am your host, Killer Lunch Tray. Let's get right into the news. Our main story tonight is a very detailed inside piece that we got exclusively for Job Corps 401 from a subscriber, viewer, and friend of the show, Ryan. Now, for those of you who may not know, Ryan is a Job Corps student now, but who has been using Job Corps 401 as his own guide of sorts to understand the Job Corps program and, of course, get into Job Corps with the knowledge presented to him beforehand thanks to us. You're welcome, Ryan. We reached out to Ryan, and Ryan reached out to us. Basically, we came up with an awesome idea for you guys, how you'd like to get some inside information about Job Corps from a Job Corps student. That's right, we got Ryan here, who did an exclusive interview with us at Job Corps 411 to let you guys know about his experience, his first impressions, and his general review of the Morgansville, Kentucky Job Corps. Also, during this interview, to protect his identity, protect Ryan from any backlash from the Job Corps Center, we modified the audio so his voice doesn't become identifiable, if that made any sense. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hand over the microphone to Ryan and let him explain to you all what life has been for him in Job Corps. Okay, Ryan, take it away. Okay, so my first week at Job Corps we checked in, like we're supposed to. Now me personally I try to find the right people to hang with. And I did. And it's been going by smoothly so far. Although my headphones did get stolen from me within my first few days. We have speakers come in for CPC which about 3-4 weeks. Then we get into our trade. We also phase up and get certain color dog tags. I already have about 2 hours and best thing I recommend for newbies is go to the gym, the union, or go work out that's what I started doing. I found a good friend here, and he's trading me helping me out. I'm in Morganfield, Kentucky. They have a decent food system. But I have heard the union food is good. The union is a gaming center on campus. We also go on trips for the first week apparently it's mandatory at Morganfield, Kentucky for the first week. Thursday was a movie and pizza, Friday was skating. I recommend doing both. Also if you're an outsider in your school 99.9% .9 of the time you'll fit in at Job Corps. I didn't fit in at my old school at Job Corps I fit in and feel accepted. Anyway hope I gave good advice for the viewers and hope you enjoyed my first week on campus. Okay, and that was the first part of our interview with Ryan. Now, Ryan did also do a follow-up interview, which was supposed to be actually three months after the first one, but he decided to go ahead and email us the next month and let us know how things been going for him in Job Corps after the initial CPP phase is over with, and now he's a full-time average Joe student in the Morgansville, Kentucky Job Corps. So let's go ahead and get Ryan's opinion about Job Corps becoming a little more jaded into the system. Part 2. Hey Trey, since it's practically the end of the month that I'll let you K-N-O-E, how things are at Earl C, it's okay, so far I am at till, in shadowing I am currently in welding. I love it. Anyway too far this place is what you make of it. Some of the recruiters will lead to you about this place. Also I am a part of an I'm club, and the green team I am conditoring and doing pre-mill. Also I had to change room CUZ my stuff kept getting stolen but my new roommates are cool and don't steal. I also still hang with the right people. I highly advise that. Also I've been really focused on my trade and my schooling so if I don't get in touch with you right away that's why. Anyway that's how it's been it's been just dandy. Awesome. Just awesome. And that does it. That is our interview with Ryan so about his status from just transitioning into Job Corps and actually getting into Job Corps, becoming a Job Corps student. And I'm sorry if this comes off as conceited, but obviously this is a big deal. This is a guy that we 
in part helped up. We actually provided information to him that he could have used and he did use to actually make the most of the job core. Props to you, Ryan. Thank you for subscribing, watching, and sending in this useful information. I'm sure the rest of us and the Information Nation would love and appreciate the information you gave to us. Real, real awesome stuff there, man. That seems to be everything we have for the news tonight. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's try to sue for, I think, one like. One like, you guys. I know this might be a little demanding, but I think we could do it. JC Information Nation, now 130 subscribers and stagnant. And Keem, please do not sue me, bro. Fair use. This is a parody. Just a parody, bro.